Goddess Cook for YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing crock pot beef ribs. Let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need in order to make this dish. You're going to need brown sugar, Worcester sauce, tomato paste, dice can of tomatoes, small dice can of tomatoes, two beef bouillon cubes, apple cider vinegar, minced garlic, prepared mustard, season all, and I like more than season all, onion, and water. Now this is going to go in at the same time that your beef ribs go in, into your crock pot. When you get 15 minutes from finishing cooking your beef ribs, then you're going to add a little bit of cornstarch and some water. Now you know I'll post the ingredients that you're going to need and the amounts that you're going to need. Now I want to show you about the ribs. When you go to your local, I went to my market and got these, but when you get your, your beef ribs at the store, you know they come like this. It's one whole uh, piece of beef rib and it's just this long. What I had the butcher to do is I had my butcher to cut them in half. So all he did was just cut them straight across the middle. Okay? So what I'm going to do so that I can have more, and I had two beef ribs, so that's going to give me four sections, one, two, and I have two over here inside of this plastic bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them down. Okay? So when I put them into my crock pot, I will have them already sliced down and sliced up. So when my family gets ready to eat them, I won't have to cut them away at that point. So what I'm going to do is to go away and cut these up. These are your slices, how your slices are going to be. Okay. So I'm going to go away and get this all cut up. Now, I'm not going to prepare this dish today. I'm just going to put it together. And what I'm going to do before I leave out of my house in the morning is I'm going to start my slow cooker. This is going to cook roughly seven to eight hours. So that will be an all-day process. But at the end of the day, when dinner time comes, then this will be ready. And I'm going to serve mine over a bed of rice. So I'll be right back. I'll mix together the ingredients and just mix everything up. Once I put the seasonings on top of the meat, then I'll just refrigerate it until in the morning. When I get up, I'll just start, and when I get home, my dinner should be complete. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and my ribs have already been cut up, so I want you to take a look at them. And this is what they look like once I'm all done with just cutting them up. Because they already, the butcher, he cut them in half. And the only thing I did was split them down the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and add my one chopped up onion. And to that, I'm going to add my one can of diced tomatoes. And this is a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And you saw the onion, that was a medium onion. Okay, so now I'm going to mix together the seasonings that I'm going to put on top of this crock pot. First, I'm going to add one cup of water, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of season oil, one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. This recipe calls for two um, tablespoons of granulated beef uh, bouillon cubes, but I didn't have it, so I just crushed up my uh, regular beef bouillon cubes. And it really serves the same purpose. This is two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon of prepared mustard. Okay. Stir that up a little bit. Now I'm going to add a six ounce container of tomato sauce or tomato paste, rather. And this was six ounces of it. Get 
that all in. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of brown sugar. This is light brown sugar that I'm using. If you prefer dark brown sugar, you can go ahead and use that. Then I'm going to mix this up well. Now, the only thing that I did not add to this is I did not add the uh, cornstarch. And like I told you, the cornstarch is to be added 15 minutes prior to completion of cooking. Because the only thing that you're doing at that point is just making like a thickening, you're thickening your sauce. That's actually what you're doing. So you want to make certain that your sauce is thick enough to hold when you dish up your beef ribs and put them on top of your, uh, your bed of rice. I'm doing a bed of rice. You can do mashed potatoes. You can do anything that you like. You can do pasta. You can do whatever you like, but I'm doing rice. Okay, now if you look down at this, it's kind of like a little thickening gravy. Okay. Now, this should be all that I need. Like I said, I'm going to cook this for six, I'm sorry, for seven to eight hours. Just cook it until it's tender. So whatever it is, I'm going to cook mine on low. Whatever you put your um, crock pot on, just make sure that you cook it until it's tender. Okay? So now I have all of these ingredients in. Only thing that I did not add is my cornstarch, and I'm saving that until the very end. So now I'm going to take this mixture, and I'm going to pour it over my beef ribs. Now, with those two beef ribs that I had, because the butcher cut them in half, that's enough to feed my family. So if you just have one, you got a family of four, and you have one rack of beef ribs, just cut it in. If you have the butcher to cut it in half, that should be enough to feed a family of four, maybe even five. So now I'm going to pour this all over. Now, what I would normally do is to start my crock pot and to cook this for the amount of time that I told you that's required. But because this is my tomorrow's dinner, I've already made my today's dinner, I'm going to put this on when I get ready to leave in the morning. So what will happen is when I get ready to, when I come back, after it has cooked, I'll bring it back tomorrow, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get ready to add the cornstarch. So I'll let this cook for the duration of time up until 15 minutes prior or until I'm going to try to make it 15 minutes prior to ending the cooking process. Then I'm going to add the cornstarch. So this is all you need to do. As you know that the tomatoes act as a meat tenderizer. So what can happen here is I can just put this in the refrigerator, take it out tomorrow because this is going to help to tenderize my meat. Take it out tomorrow, put it in the, the cooking part of the crock pot when I get ready. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. It's the next day and I started to cook this this morning like I told you. So I just want to show you what it looks like because it's almost finished. We're like 20 minutes from the completion of this. See how my ribs look? They are all tender. Okay, see down in there. The only thing is you see that the liquids are not, they're not like gravy. They're not thick. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point, remember I told you I was going to add the cornstarch. So I have a half a cup of water and I have three heaping uh, tablespoons of cornstarch that has been added to this. Now I'm just going to add this down in here. I'm going to stir this a little bit just so my, my liquids can thicken up. Okay, so that's going to take roughly about 15 minutes. It only takes about a minute for this to actually, for cornstarch to actually uh, get thicker. But it's going to take about 15 minutes because I'm going to let it just cook for just a little bit. So what I'll do, and if you can see, if you can look down in here, see if I can move some of this over. It's already started to get thicker, see? It's already starting to get thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to cook about 15 minutes, and I'll bring you back, dish up the plate, 
be right back okay I'm back and I just moved over to the stove but I want to show you how everything came out here is my beef ribs and look at the gravy to it see how good it came out okay that turned out really really good and some of them did fall off the bone but that's fine too see they came out really really well and I think that if you try this recipe you're going to enjoy the gravy that you get from the beef ribs with the different seasonings that I made so I'm going to go ahead and dish up a plate real quick now I made I told you yesterday I was going to make a pot of rice so I have my rice back here so I'm going to put some rice down on the plate and it's still a little bit hot because I made it just a while ago okay now I also made some uh, crescent rolls because I had them in the refrigerator so I wanted to have some type of bread with this so I made some crescent rolls and put three down on the plate okay and I, I instead of using water with my rice I used um, chicken broth so it has a chickeny flavor to it. Now here is my ribs. Let's see if I can get some of that. Get some meaty ones. And beef ribs are so good. I'll put three down on the plate. There's three. I don't want to fold it. I want to lose it just, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put some gravy over this. Okay. So there you have it. Chris is making beef ribs. And you know my butcher cut them in half. Serving it over a bed of rice. And I have some crescent rolls with it. Now, this was prepared in my crock pot. It was very little maintenance. When I came in, everything was ready for me to eat. So, this is what I'm having today. I hope you'll try this recipe. I think you will enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye.